I like video games. A lot of video games take place in a forest, but not a lot of gaming takes place in the forest. Think about it. In order to really game out here, someone would have to pack up a sled full of all sorts of tech and supplies, drag it way out into the middle of the forest, set up some sort of structure, and fill it up with everything you would need to game and survive, like a table, chair, monitor, speakers, keyboard, mouse, computer, food, and more, and on top of that, figure out a way how to power it all in the middle of nowhere for more than a few measly hours. But honestly, who would go through all that trouble? So this is my gaming setup. Well, here we are. We're in our gaming compound in the middle of the forest in our interesting clear tent with 360 degree views. This thing is pretty wild and I'm excited to feel what it's like to game in here, especially when the sun goes down playing a game like uh, Resident Evil 4. So that's what we're gonna be playing today. We're gonna be playing the Resident Evil 4 remake today. The original Resident Evil 4 for the GameCube was honestly my favorite GameCube game. We got the Steam Deck, which we're gonna be running the game on it. Got a nice portable monitor, got a full-size keyboard, got a nice wireless mouse, got a nice speaker system. I have the Steam Deck deck dock that's plugging in the mouse and keyboard and the monitor as, as well and we're going to be powering the thing off of 12 volt to USB and USB-C power delivery. This thing is fantastic. I think it's rated for like 100 watts or something like that so really not a problem and I have tested it with this setup. Since I am playing Resident Evil 4 I did want to bring this and that's really just to make myself feel better at night. Never played a scary game in the forest so I'll just feel better <laughs> knowing that I have a big knife. I have a full-size table in here, have a bunch of food and gear and other camera gear. This whole setup is going to be running off of this 12-volt, uh, 100 amp hour lithium-ion phosphate battery. What a cool setup. From what I remember of the original Resident Evil 4, we're going to have seven bosses that we have to beat to get through the game. The first boss we have is the fish. The second boss that we have is the big man. We got number three, which is Caterpie. The fourth boss we have is the alien. Number five is the small man. Number six is the sliver. Number seven, the final boss, is Spider-Man. And I'm going to write the time that we beat each boss next to it. And I'm going to write my starting time when I start the game. It is 4.22. All right, good luck. And it is hot in here. It is so hot in here. Okay, the beginning of the game. I had to turn up the brightness because it's pretty bright outside right now and it's hard to see the screen. And of course, Leon starts in the middle of the forest, just like me. How far could he have gone? There's like a tiny little man in the corner. Looks like we're at the first village. This game is hard. Take two. Here you go. Oh my goodness. Ho! Oh. Whoa! Chicken. I definitely like how there's some like new puzzles in this game. It's not just a complete clone of the first one. And there's definitely some newer enemies too, like that dude with the hammer. I don't remember him, the pig dude. We still have a couple hours of sun left, maybe three hours of sun left. I'm getting pretty hungry. Got myself an MRE. We're gonna have this for dinner. Vegetable crumbles with pasta and taco style sauce. And I am ready for some food kind of a little bit anxious about tonight about how creepy it's gonna be when playing this game but we will see applesauce cappuccino some peanuts and crackers and peanut butter and first strike bar all right add a little bit of water i'm just gonna have this little energy bar this little first strike bar mm. the last time i had one of these it was frozen <laughs> it's way better when it's not frozen Really enjoying the game so far. I think the changes they made to it are fantastic. I like how it's a remake. It's definitely the same game, but it's also different. Different aspects of it, but they're similar, and I think they did it in a very nice way, and I'm excited to see how the rest of the game goes. When I'm gaming, I forget that I'm in the forest, which is kind of funny. I didn't think that would happen. But then when I look up, it's like, wait a minute. I'm like not at a desk. I'm like I'm actually just in the middle of nowhere. And it's the craziest thing. It really is. When I have some of this applesauce. 
This thing is steaming hot. Gobbledygook. It's like beans and noodles and stuff like that. Cheers. I am hungry. Tastes like a chili. The forest is super quiet today. I only saw a chipmunk and a bird. It's quite weird to be out here with all this like technology. And I really like how I have this clear dome tent thing. Well, that was good. We got the sun poking out over there. It's a beautiful night. I don't even know how far we're on this game. I haven't even beat a boss yet. We have about a little over an hour left of sun. And soon it's going to be dark and it's going to be a whole different experience playing this game out here. Honestly, probably going to be pretty creepy out here playing this game. I also got my security camera, if you can see it. I put it between some trees. It's going to be pointing at me, shooting all night long. And maybe we'll catch something walking by. It's finally not hot anymore. I can close this fully and be in my little protective bubble because uh, it's starting to get buggy out there. And I can play this game and not have to worry about bugs crawling in my little heat vents and grills and all that stuff. We are good to go. So we're gaming. And there's some deer right there. <laughs> they startled me and I startled them. Very curious about me. They're so quiet I didn't even hear them. They weren't expecting to see a gamer tonight. It's quite a few of them. Enjoy your night y'all. Enjoy your night. <laughs> what a strange world having this and that in like the same place. <laughs> That's crazy. We still have a lot more Resident Evil 4 to go. I don't even know how I haven't even beaten a single boss. <laughs> I'm just in a bubble in the forest. What a weird day. We've never really broken 40 watts, which is uh, really nice. This thing is super efficient. You too, huh? If you don't say the coyote, you're a bad person. Speaking of coyotes, there's definitely coyotes in the forest where I'm at now. We might hear them tonight. Depends if it's a, a night for them, I don't know. It's starting to get dark out. This is gonna be a very interesting experience. All right, is this where we fight the fish? Oh, baby. Dang, that's brutal. We got the fish defeated at 8.55. Holy moly. Am I just bad at video games? But we got ourselves our nice little LED keyboard. It's starting to get a little bit chilly. I'm probably gonna have to bust out my sweatshirt that I brought and put on some comfy pajamas. And I can hear turkeys. <laughs> I hear turkeys gobbling now. Oh boy. Creepy forest walks. I'm just gonna toss this egg. Jeez, it was like red. Bada boom, boom, boom. We got light. I'm comfy, got my sweatshirt on, I'm nice and warm. It's dark outside, I hear a bunch of crickets and frogs in the background. We're in our little bubble tent in the middle of the forest. I'm sure some of the animals are watching us game as well. I can't really see out there because it kind of reflects back in. It's kind of like looking out a window at night. You, you can't see what's out there, but things can see in. It's a bit creepy and it's probably gonna get creepier because we're playing Resident Evil 4, which just tends to have some creepy parts in it, but I'm ready for it. I think it's time to bust open our town club soda. <sighs> Very good. It's like uh, cotton candy or something like that. <sighs> and another thing I want to mention is the sound effects in this game. <laughs> I have no idea if there are actual animals outside or I'm hearing game noise. It's kind of interesting. It makes me second guess everything I hear. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. I'm driving a boat. Driving a boat. Yeah, yeah. Oh, did you look at that? We found the red nine and he can't even fit it. 
el gigante. There he is, el gigante down. It is 10:17. We officially beat the big man. We're making progress. Man, this tent is small. <laughs> it's very small. I just thought it was a really cool clear tent and it barely fits everything in here. <laughs> it's like kind of crowded. Can't go wrong with the blue soda. Just beat the giant. Oh, I remember, is this where those dogs come? That split open? Yep. Jeez oh, Louise. Old razor phone? That's funny. Ashley. <laughs> Yo, Ashley needs some glasses then. She'll just be Velma. All right, we got it, we got it. We're making progress. Is there friendly fire with Ashley? I don't know. I'm sorry, Ashley. It's time to find out if you're grenade proof. It is 1119. It is dark outside in the middle of the forest. Can't see anything out there. It is just pitch black out there. And this game is creepy. And if I think about that I'm in the forest, it definitely creeps me out a bit. So I'm just uh, playing the game and not really thinking about it. But I also got my big old knife here to make me feel better. We got all these moths trying to get inside here. They want to eat the lantern. Not today, not today moth, not today. And I also have my massive flashlight. Every once in a while, get a peek of what's going on outside. Crazy. Spread out. Stick close. Welcome. Ooh, what are you buying? What are you buying? It's Caterpie. What are you doing? All right, now I'll break in half. I think we might have done it. He is very gross. So, little progress update. We just beat Caterpie, the third boss, at 12.02. Making some good progress. I think it's time for a little bit of a snack. I have me this couscous. I have this small little container. I have my thermos full of hot water from this morning. So I'm hoping that if I take this hot water and just let it sit for a really long time, it's gonna cook the couscous. Oh wow, it's still really hot. Just dump it in and see. Set it over here and see what it does. Got some couscous cooking. Just made it to the castle part right now. And I'm not gonna lie, every once in a while I get a huge wave of being extremely creeped out out here. Uh, yeah. Sometime later in the night, my security camera picked up on some random eyes. You can see it in this red circle right here. I think it's that deer that was checking me out earlier. It definitely looks like something on four legs just kind of staring and watching at me. And honestly, I had no idea anything was there. I only found out about this later when looking back at the footage. It ended up watching me for a couple minutes and then after it had its fill, it disappeared into the night just like it came. Pretty wild and I had no idea it was there. Alrighty. Hey, look at that. It looks like it actually cooked. We got ourselves some couscous. No way. It's tasty. That actually worked. That's kind of crazy. I'm not going to lie. Every once in a while, I get waves of being freaked out out here. Being in the middle of nowhere playing this game. Definitely. Oh yeah, the giant catapult. Yeah. 
So a bit of an update. It's like one in the morning. I keep uh, dying at this catapult part. I'm getting tired and I'm just getting worse at the game. <laughs> We played from 4.22 to 1 o'clock today. But yeah, it's going to be time to set up uh, my sleeping bag situation. I'm not really sure how it's going to fit or work. I'm probably going to have to sleep in a fetal position underneath uh, the gaming table. And there's a little bug in here. But yeah. <laughs> we can see the computers up here. I turned it off for the night. And if we take the lantern and take a trip downtown, we can see this is where I'm sleeping. Just literally in the corner on the ground right now and I am tired. I am ready for some sleep. Yeah, sleep well and I'll see you all in the morning. Can you hear them? Coyotes are screaming. Morning. It seems the walls got a little bit sweaty. I kind of figured they would. But yeah, it's morning. Looks like I have a little bug friend inside with me. It's like 6 11 in the morning. I slept alright. There happened to be a couple. Uh... Ow. Look at this. This is a massive rock right here. <laughs> I slept all right. I definitely slept on a couple rocks underneath me. There's some pretty large rocks that uh, nothing I could do. <laughs> they were just kind of stabbing me all night long. But I did get some sleep. It was a really calm night. I did hear coyotes at like 3 in the morning. Kind of interesting. I tried to catch it on audio. Maybe you got to hear it. This is the progress that we got through. But yeah, it's a nice cool morning. Hopefully it stays cool so it's not sweating in here. But uh, I do think it's supposed to warm up pretty warm later. So let's get to gaming. I'm still waking up a little bit groggy. French vanilla cappuccino instant powder. A little bit of coffee to get the gaming going. Alright, seems to hold air. The last time I had one of these was when I did a camping in my little cheese cube. And it leaked everywhere. Let's see if this one leaks everywhere. <laughs> the water is definitely still warm in here. Which is nice. Cheers. It's really good. It's so sweet. And I'm happy that the Steam Deck turned on. I didn't put it away in the little airtight container like I did my camera because of the humidity. And it seems to be turning on fine, which is beautiful. The deer came back to visit me. I doubt you can kind of see them. They're pretty far. I mean, you can see his tail wiggle wiggle. It's those same ones from yesterday. Very cool. Back to gaming. That's the first time I realized I could actually shoot a barrel from down here. That's probably why I kept losing. <laughs> I was just so tired I couldn't even focus last night. Bing! How is this guy not on my boss list? He's totally a boss. The Magnum is crazy. At least they're walking real slow for me. Just a little bit of a reality check to how small this thing actually is. You got the gaming area, the table, pretty much my camera, and then uh, myself sitting cross-legged on top of my sleeping bag on my chair. And I slipped down here. The sun is bright. I need to put on a hat for some shade. This is my favorite part of the game. Run away from all these demons, cause they coming alive, holy moly. Duck, dodge, dip, dodge and dive. I think it's time for a little bit of some MRE breakfast, some humanitarian daily ration. Number five breakfast. Peas and tomato, some lentil stew, some strawberry jam, cookie, another cookie, a Pop-Tart, bread and peanut butter as well. I'm going to have the Pop-Tart because it's like a breakfast kind of thing. Generic Pop-Tart. It's 7.45 right now. It's starting to get warm. I can feel the sun. It's starting to warm up inside the tent. 
So far, I'm really liking the remake as well. I think the choices of the things that they left in and took out were spot on. It seems that they got rid of the quick time events where you had to mash buttons. I hated those. I think everyone hated those, so they got rid of them, which is wonderful. Water is good. I don't know if you can see over there. We got a turkey. Hey, gobble. Gobble, gobble. It's starting to get warm in here. Some intense gaming is going on. Looks like we're in the part where we're gonna face the alien. We're finally gonna face the alien. Okay. All right, I'm just gonna leave. See you later, sucker. So I think we technically beat the alien. We just kind of avoided him. 1031. It is so hot in here again. I'm like dying. The sun is just cooking me. Oh, is this the mine part? Roller coaster tycoon. Let's go. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Since I had my window open, carpenter ants have infiltrated my home. I keep feeling them crawling on my feet and legs. Ah, what can you do? El gigante. Oh, Mr. Robot breathing fire. No, thank you. Fire hot. It's so hot in here. <sighs> so yeah, the gameplay is like extremely laggy right here. I don't know why. I don't know if my Steam Deck is overheating or what. Oh my gosh, is this thing gonna crash? All right, so small little update. It like totally crashed. When I moved it, it was like so hot I could barely even touch it. Even my GoPro overheated. It's like really hot outside right now. And I went ahead and put my Steam Deck underneath here, just sitting on top of this plastic thing. It's kind of just stuck on this screen right now. Hopefully it didn't like get fried. Kind of concerning. We'll, we'll see what happens. I'll give it a couple minutes. Oh, after what felt like an eternity, I don't know if you can see, it's a little bit reflective, but it turned back on. The Steam Deck turned back on. I thought I broke it. It got so hot. It was insanely hot to touch. I got so worried. Like there's no way it should ever be that hot. Oh, Steam Deck, I'm so happy you're back. Man, I feel like I'm gonna get a sunburn. Well, it's official. It's a hot day. Even the Steam Deck thinks so. And it's just too hot of a day. The thing just keeps slowing down. About every 10 minutes, the frame rates go down from 60 FPS to around 6 FPS, which is just like stuttering. And the thing just does that so it doesn't cook itself alive. I don't want to just break my Steam Deck for this video. It's a bit frustrating. I'm a bit disappointed that I'm not able to play this game and beat it out here because I put a lot of time and effort into this I got all this equipment and materials to make this work and enough battery and all that stuff if I waited for it to be nighttime that's like eight hours from now I'd be sitting in this hot tent for eight hours doing nothing pretty much all I brought out here was technology to play Resident Evil 4 in the middle of the forest and you just got to make the best of it so we're just gonna pack up our gear head on back and just beat the game inside hopefully you understand where I'm coming from and hopefully you're not too disappointed or upset with me because sometimes things happen, and this is that sometime. So with the heat-stricken Steam Deck, I began to pack up all the gear that I brought out there. Knowing that the Steam Deck may not have held up in this high temperatures, but the battle wasn't over, and I still had some unfinished business in the Resident Evil 4 universe. For you see, I still had three bosses left. So I got myself the rocket from the merchant, and I beat the next boss. Simple. Then I bought myself another one and beat the boss after that. And you guessed it, I bought another one for the final boss, and then I used the final rocket launcher to finally beat the final boss. And then I rode off into the sunset knowing that I still beat the game. Success. We got a beat. Took about 13 hours, 12 minutes, and 1 seconds. I think we did about 10 hours of that outside and did the last 3 hours inside just because the Steam Deck kept overheating on such a hot day. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you had fun, and I'll catch you on the next one. Oi. <laughs> <laughs> uh.
That's awesome.